thousand naira here. Eh? Oh, come on, take it. Hi! <laughs> Use this money. Eh? Pay the people that are building the bar. Let them build a beautiful place. Eh? Pay them very well. Then, at the end of the building, come back. I will now give you real money. Thank you. There is nothing I can do. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Dora, Dora. Dora, Dora. Dora, Dora. Come here. Dora, Dora. Very soup. Are you now answering my question with another question? Igwe, I'm sorry. But it's just that you've cultivated this habit of telling me my food is not good. And I am not happy about that. Mm. Maybe it's because you have cultivated this new habit of cooking nonsense. In short, I don't want to lose my temper now. Carry your food. Igwe. Igwe. Lolo. Dora, my sister, I've come to see your teeth at a closer vantage so that I can tell what you're eating. How do you mean? Your escapes with Igwe have become the most popular anthem in everybody's mouth recently. I'm sure I've warned you earlier than now. Um, sister, it's not as if I don't understand what you have been saying. But you see, nobody's helping me except the occasional assistance you give me from time to time. Ever since my husband went to jail and was announced that he'll be executed by firing squad, I've learned to live my life like a widow. All the men who came to me pretending that they care were actually asking for something else. It was only Igwe who gives me something and... Uh, wait. Is there no capability of one, somebody giving something without taking? It depends on you. The problem is that you have already concluded that your husband has gone for good. And that is what it is. In that case, why don't you go for a man who wants to marry you? Not this ordinary givers and takers. Eh? Um, sister. Igwe once told me something like that. You mean Igwe wants to make you his second wife? Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed. 
but I know he mentioned something like that. Dora the Dorate. Ah, uh, uh, Jonah, what is it? What is it again, Jonah? Eh? Dora, why has it become a crime to call your name? And I called you so tenderly. Anyway, that's by the way. You didn't go to the palace today. Why? Palace, you don't Jonah! Hmm? Jonah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can see I'm very busy now, so please go. No, I'm, I'm not blind. I can see that. You are very, very busy. But Dora, let me tell you. There's one thing about you that sweetens my heart. One thing about you that I like so much. You are more talented. You are good in bed and good at agriculture. Your husband was busy planning a federal coup against the president. Why our own Igwe was busy here planning a local coup against him. So how far? Jonah. Jonah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't have your time. Jonah, leave me alone. Oh, you don't have my time. Neither do I have your time. I don't have your time. Dora, so you have finally become pregnant for a week. No, don't hide it. There is pregnancy now. They don't cover it. Huh? Don't hide it. I told you, you are multi-talented. Multi-talented, Dora. Five. Congratulations. Jonah, leave me alone. Hmm? Jonah! Jonah, leave me alone now. Leave me alone, Jonah! I said you should leave me alone. I will shout, oh. I will shout. You will shout. Hmm. You wish out. Huh? No, 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 I'm sorry. You I'm are whispering, no? No, I'm I sorry. You are not shouting. Shout. Juna, please, now. I don't want to shout again. Just go. Just go. I am deaf and dumb. I'm sorry. Dora, shout. Juna, please. I'm sorry. I don't want to shout. You are sorry. I want you to shout. So that by the, when the time comes, you will be delivered of a shouting baby boy. Juna, I'm sorry. Just please. You are sorry. Upunu. Upurere. Upu Sambeya. Upu Wainen. Dora, it didn't join our one job.
Mr. Elisha Mwokike. Sir. I'm a lawyer from the State Ministry of Justice. I have come to secure your release from prison. The federal government has granted you amnesty over the aborted military coup of six years ago. Can you hear me, Mr. Mwokike? Am I going home? Yes. Go home and enjoy your family. <laughs> so, please come over here and sign this document. And you take your personal uh, effects. Yes, Must be very lucky, and they have to be thankful to the Federal Democratic Government for granting you this amnesty. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank Mr. President. I thank Mr. President, sir. Any other thing? No, sir. No, sir. I mean, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I was wondering if I can get some money to go to my village. My village is very far, it's near Afib. It's about Omega. That's not a problem, friend. I believe, uh, no matter the distance, uh, this we should be able to take it to your destination.
Bye bye. Finally, finally. <laughs> Bye bye. Hey, so how is you? Eh, my boy, my girl, Allah. Good to see you. Here is our son, Osin. He was four, six years he went to prison. Osin, this is your father. Go let him carry you. I know you must be wondering who the little girl is. Yes. I'm not aware you were pregnant when I was sentenced. Um, no, I was not. She's my sister's daughter. And she's staying with us for now. I see. Uh, Margaret's daughter? Yes. Her name is Chinenye. Chinenye. Chinenye, come let brother carry you. I've not carried children for six years. Yes. There are so many things you've not done for six years. Yes, yes. But I'm back now. I guess I have to stop. I mean, I guess I have to continue from where I stopped. Thank God you are young. And I am too. No hope is lost. <laughs> Since we were in prison? No. 
And you expect me to believe that? What would I do with the prison walls? Oh, as if I don't know prisoners paid what to smuggling prostitutes for them. That costs a lot of money. Only rich prisoners can afford such a pleasure. Ah! Is that the reason why you did not do it? Because you could not afford the money. Not even because you missed me and wished to keep yourself for me. You started it. You started the question about who has done it for the past six years and who has not. Yes, yes, I started it. But you still haven't answered my question. Please, 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 Elisha. Just go and sleep if you know you have nothing better to say. I have been shocked. I have cried. I have rejoiced. All because you returned home. All I want to do now is to sleep. Dora, you have changed so much. You never used to shout at me or raise your voice. Eh! Hey, hey, Elisha, you too, you have changed. You never used to doubt or distrust me. Nonsense. Is always a soldier. Whether in the jail or in the street. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Jenna, how are you? Fine. This one you are walking like praying mantis. Where are you coming from? I'm going home. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, is it because of your wife? Your, your face, I don't like the picture. Uh, my kinsman. You know you are my very good uh, kinsman. Have you taking a proper look at that little girl in your house. I mean the nose. Uh, have you seen a wee recently? You go by. Soldier, that reminds me. How was life in jail? Life, the experience and all that. Fine, Jonah, thank you. Are you going? He's going, no? Anyway, when you get home, Sit your wife down, ask her some questions. Who knows, she might give you some good answers. To God be the glory, she might be honest. I'll pack my information and go in. But a soldier is a soldier. I, I forgot to ask you how the flood did. Yeah, Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I'm not there. He carry my Sweetie, run away If you take another person in danger Which kind of thing did I don't vex, life no sweet again Since they carry my sweetie, run away If you chop another person If you chop another person in danger What is the problem? Survey her like a statue. Dora, who is Jimmy's father? My sister's husband is the father. I think I've told you that before. 
Were you telling me the truth? The truth and nothing but the truth. And what if I discover later who Chin Yasfara is? What do I do to you? Elijah, why are you talking like a small boy? I think this your long time in prison has really affected your temperament. What kind of accusation is this? I've already told you it's my sister's husband. You if like you to take me. another person to danger, which kind can be this? I be vexed, life no sweet again. Since they carry my sweetie, run away. If you chop another person to Welcome since you came home. But see how we were celebrating when we heard that you, you've been granted amnesty. Hey, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. My huh? sister, life in prison is hell. I can't tell it here. Please don't, don't talk about it. Hey, how about my sister? Uh, she's gotten to her shop. Uh, I bought you this kit. No. No. What's the matter for you? And for you. See how she's looking at you? Yeah, she's not used to my face yet. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you see, that's my sister. She's a shock absorber. Despite the fact that they told her you rot in jail, she was praying faithfully, hoping that God will set you free one day. <laughs> she was looking, taking good care of this man as well. <laughs> in fact, Dora is a tiger, honestly. Well, she nags at me these days, even at the last slightest chance. She will stop it. That's the cause of long absence, eh? Please, I'll talk to her. Oh? I have to go now. When she comes back, tell her that I've come to see her husband. Yes. I will see you off. Okay. All right, kids. Okay. Drop it, drop it. Let's see uh, Auntie off. When mommy comes back, tell her that I came off. Fine. Trust me now. I was able to play down on him. But he kept quiet most of the time. Honestly. Eh? That means we have succeeded. Yes. Oh. Don't worry, sister. I'll do the rest of the talking at night. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Don't bother yourself. I'm your sister. There's nothing I cannot do for you. Thank you so much, sister. Let me get you something to drink. My kinsmen, sometimes for those of us sentenced to life imprisonment with hard labor, the sun rose and set on our backs, sweating in the sun. Sweating away our lives. Aye, 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 aye. 
we had just two little slices of bread to eat with lukewarm water. Mm. Uh -uh. Made lukewarm by the heat of the sun under which it was placed. Mm. These two slices of bread, is it for one whole day? For one whole day? Hey. Hey. Mm? Hey. Okay. When we sweated, we needed no towel to wipe our sweat. Eh? The sun wiped it for us. And whenever we slacked in our duties because of tiredness, a hot cane from the water was waiting for our backs. We can't wear us. My kinsmen, life inside the prison is a sad story altogether. In myself, there were just a small cell of about 10 by 10. There were 12 of us. Eh? 12? How were you able to see? <laughs> well, for a people sharing a common misery together, some slept standing, some slept sitting, sharing turns, mostly on the hard floor, under the heat and the cold. Our best visitors were mosquitoes. Eh? As big as a boiled grain of rice. Hi! Feasting on our blood. Oh. We watched our cellmates die. Day by day. And as they were taken for burial, we could not look each other in the face because we didn't know whose turn was going to be next. My kinsmen, uh, I'm, it's a miracle I'm alive. And I'm back to tell you the story. Oh, drink. We're happy. Elisha, my son and brother. An old man pretends that he wants to scratch his bottom. Then he farts. What I'm telling you now is not the fact, but it will lead you to the truth. That little girl in your house, Chinenye, who is her father? Chinenye, my wife's sister's daughter. <laughs> When you get back home, sit your wife Dora down and ask her who is Chinenye's real father. Chinenye's real father. She's my wife's sister's daughter. Elisha, I've passed the information to you. Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I know day He carry my sweetie, run away If you take another person in danger Which kind of thing did I don't vex, life no sweet again Since they carry my sweetie Chop another person in danger, danger, danger. If you take another person in danger, danger, danger. If you chop another person in.
I've asked you the second time. May I ask you for the last time, who are children's parents? Uh -uh. But I've told you before, Margaret, my sister, is the mother. You lie. I have been reliably informed Chinenye is your daughter. I mean, look at her, look at her. Look, look, look. She looks so much like you. She is my sister's daughter. Eh? Should it be so strange to you that she looks like me? Don't you know my sister anymore? Everybody in this community saw you pregnant. If you keep lying, I shall call a meeting of my kinsmen and have them publicly acclaim your unfaithfulness to me. For a start, I shall visit my great husband and find out if he is Chinese's father. Okay, okay, okay. Elisha, you want to know the truth, isn't it? Here is the truth. Chinese is Igwe's daughter. Yes. If not for him, he would not have died in this house. He was the only one that cares. When Osinachi was sick, he was the one that took him to hospital. And your son survived it today. Ask your king's men. What have they done for us for the past six years we were in prison? What? Did they even send even a cup of garlic in this house for us? Igwe Bala is Chinenye's father. <laughs> and you had the guns open your legs for him. What are you doing in my house? She's my sister. Shut up! This is not our blood. She has the foul blood. Don't you ever say that again. Let's go back to the house. Down. Don't worry, let's go back to it. We understand your anger, but we must go back to the house. Speak of the consequences if you should kill the way. Or if he goes to the police station to report you that you are chasing him with a gun. Look, I don't care. Hey, Elisha, you no. don't care. Let's, leave go me, leave me. let's go back. No, no, let's go back. No, let's calm down, calm down. Let's go back. Please. Let's go back. Elisha, let's go back. Don't go and do something harsh. Just let's go back. Calm down, calm down. Let's go back. Let's go back. Elisha, let's go back. Don't go and do something harsh. If you chop another person in danger. My laws, the reasons for which I wish to divorce my wife Dora are reasons everybody knows. Especially the fact that she got pregnant for the ego of my village and had a daughter for him. The proof is there in the little girl, Chinenya. <coughs> My laws, when a man wishes to divorce his wife, he brings her with him to the house of the parents. A keg of palm wine representing the first palm wine on her head. Now, our daughter, your wife, daughter, is not here to answer for herself. Where is she? Have you strangled her? Tell us, where is our daughter? I think I shall answer that question. 
Elisha, our brother, went to prison because his master in the army was involved in a coup plot. Not because Elisha killed somebody. Our brother Elisha is not a murderer. Neither did he put his wife away from his house without first reporting her properly to you, her people, and father. You have not answered the question. Where is my daughter? Your daughter ran away from the house. I don't know where she is. And I don't even want to know where she is. But if by chance she comes anywhere near your doorsteps, let her know of my intentions to severe my relationship with her as man and wife. So that she shall be free from me and I shall be free from her. As for the Igwe of my village, that village will be too little for both of us. Thank you very much. Each other. Kind. Igwe, what is that woman still coming to do in this palace? I thought she had separated from the husband. I'm getting uncomfortable from her continuous coming to this palace. Oh, Nina. Dora is no bother to you. Let her be. Eh? I'm, I mean, I'm trying to mediate in the problem she's having with the husband. As the Igwe. You are trying to mediate. Listen, let me tell you. I don't like things being whispered by the servants because of you and this girl. So better do something about it. Who is whispering what? From which of the servants? If you chop another person in danger, danger, danger. If you take another person in are getting very hot now. My wife said uh, she heard rumors concerning us. Can that be possible? After we have hidden it from her for years? Yes. See, for every truth, there is always one day of revelation. Now, uh, Dora, stop coming to the palace. Right? Soon I'm going to announce my intention to take a second wife. In that case, I will now come to your people and honorably and formally marry you. Okay? See. Take this. It's going to sustain you for a while. So I can still count on you, eh? Oh, come on. I have always told you that. Huh? You have to trust me. Okay. One man come my house. He enter my room when I know day. He carry my sweetie, run away. If you take another person in danger, which kind of thing did he? Sweet again since they carry my sweetie run away. Oh, Sinachi. Oh, Sinachi. Oh, Sinachi. Come here, my friend. You know that I'm watching. Can't you at least help me rinse these clothes? Your mother has spoiled you so silly. My friend, remove your hand from that, that cloth. I'm tired of this here feeble attitude. Come on, get out of here. Who is behaving like a zoo animal? Somebody's hungry here. Somebody's hungry here. Uh, let us somebody go to the kitchen and hungry. Are you Jerebu? No, they got 
Nato. Guru of Google, so about Neto Mahanania. Ave Maya. Ave, Ave, Ave Maya. Soda. Soda, Soda. No, I'm there. <laughs> hey. huh? What is it? Why are you laughing like this? Oh, soldier, you want to know why I'm laughing like this? It's very, very simple. I am laughing like this just because you are like this. Don't be stupid. <laughs> what do I look like? Oh, you are in a better position to answer that question, soldier. Oh, you are not the one plucking vegetable and maybe cooking, eh? Anyway, I'm sorry. I forgot you've sent your wife, Parker. Soldier, shake me. Shake me, soldier! You did well. You did well by sending that woman away. Make sure she does not come back to her house again. Nonsense. Huh? I don't know what is wrong with women. Ordinary prison. Ordinary prison. Soldier, ordinary prison. That her husband went to. You went and started misbehaving with our Igwe. When Igwe says, Ndebany, when? You will say, Yeah, with her legs open. To fear! Soldier, to fear. Look at the way you are holding vegetable. Like AK 47. Soldier, do. Do I feel for you. Hey, Jonah. Hey, what? Hmm? Jonah. Hmm? I think it's time you started going to your house. Huh? Me? Go to my house? Uh, I came here on my own. And I'm the only person who has the right to tell myself when to leave. Just go inside. Get me those wine you used to drink when you were in a Hmm? Huh? Those foreign wine. And sick and tired of this local pan wine. Go inside, get me something to brighten up my day. Mm. A comog wine. It's medicinal, you know. Get me some more. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm coming. Ahua! Soldier, soldier! Ha! I do wire everywhere. Express the call. Soldier, soldier. Now let me brighten up my day. This man, nice man, he used to be my friend before the jail. No problem. Soldier! Woman, uh. come my house. How many years will it take you to bring, to bring the wine? Are you going to Liberia to, 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 to get the wine? He carry my uh, sweetie, uh, 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 run away. Hey, what? If you take another uh, person, Elijah, I called you because your late father used to be my very good friend. Just like you, he said, that is very tough. But he had a lot of wisdom. Don't I have wisdom? You prove that to me when you heed my advice. I'm listening. Elisha, go and bring back your wife. I should do what? I say you should go and bring back your wife, Dora, and the little girl. Impossible. That little girl is not my daughter. Dora is not my wife anymore. She is Igwe's concubine. Any other thing? Elisha. Your father had this kind of temperament. But he never pre prevented him from taking good advice like this one. Because if Dora stays in your house as your wife, the elders may step into this matter and your anger will be justified. But if she's divorced, the Igwe will now claim that he's, he's dating a free woman. <laughs> 
We are where the elders when the Igwe was dating my wife in the first place. What did they say? They all kept quiet because everybody thought I was going to die in jail. Now that I'm back, everybody's pretending to be too concerned. Even you. <laughs> Any other thing? I'm going. Well, since you don't want to take my advice, since you don't want to take my advice. I will not take a broken advice. Never! Let her remain with her parents. No more. No less. Woman come my house. He enter my room when I know day. He carry my sweetie run. Which kind of thing did this? I the vex, life no sweet again. Since they carry my sweetie, run away. If you chop another person, thing, danger, danger. Where is your mother? She, she's not in. Come on, stop talking rubbish. What do you mean she is not in? I'm not talking rubbish, ma'am. She ran away. Ran away? Okay. I will get her when I will get her. If you chop another person in danger, danger, danger. If you take another person in danger, Listen to me. You may be a little boy, but you are also a man. Your mother is a very bad woman. Yes. She has gone. Uh, come and sit down and eat with me. Come, let's eat together. I want to see my mother. I want to see my mother. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that?
Work up the uh, Let's go inside now. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I think it's better outside where the air is fresh. Uh, yes. Okay, let me fetch Colonel then. Ah, no, leave that cola for another day, brother. Let's go. Okay. Hey. So, hey. how's your family? Oh, we are managing. <laughs> Welcome. Oh. Elisha, Ichi. go and bring your wife back. What did you say? I might think that I'm mad. What I've just told you is from the wisdom of so many years I've stayed on earth. When you decided to put her away, I supported you. Even when with you to her place. Didn't I? Oh, yes, you did. Now, I am telling you to go and bring your wife back. You know why? You have not told me. For a man to catch a monkey. He must behave like the monkey. You have stayed away for too long. Your son was only four years old when you went to prison. By the time you came back, he is ten years old. Those six years he stayed with the mother. He got to trust her, believe in her so much, and grow to love and be attached to her. Brother, you are like a total stranger to your son, Osibachi. That's why a man 10 years old braved the night to run from Abu Omega to Isa. Leaving you, his father, without thinking twice. Are my words sinking? Yes, they are clear. You should go and bring your wife, Dora, back. Even if you don't love her. For you to, for your son to be brought up before your own eyes. Think of the domestic work you were laboring to do. Bring her back to help you do them. See, even if you refuse to marry because of lack of money, don't love her. Don't even forgive her. A man's mind is his treasure and armory. Go and bring your wife back for the sake of your son and the wife's services. Please. We have heard you, and we have seen the gifts you brought to make peace with us. We thank God we did not break the calabash on the day you came to tell us that you will divorce our daughter. If that had been done, she would have not been your wife again. But Dora is still traditional in my uh, Yes, that's what I'm saying. Now that we have accepted your gifts, it means Dora will go back to Elisha's house. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yes. Um, we must advise our daughter that what happened before should not happen again. And we don't want our daughter to be a problem to her husband. Uh, but you too, advise Elisha. It will not be good if Elisha is a problem to Dora. Well done. Yes. Good talk. Um, now we have concluded. Let's share the palm wine. Elisha, you may go into my house there. If you wish. Your wife Dora is inside there. You can talk with her. <laughs> Don't be shy. Do you remember how you used to sneak into my house and whistle from outside so that Dora would sneak out with you? <laughs> that was uh, many years ago. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you were still recovering then. I used to tell Mama Dora, leave these two young people. They are in love. And they would marry. Haven't I been proved right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check your things inside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm no longer angry with you. I told you that. Thank you. What's the matter? Don't greet your father. Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I'm not there. He carry my sweetie, run away. If you take another person, in danger. Which kind can be this? I do vex. You know, Elisha, there are too many foolish men in this world. I meet all kinds of them every day at my bar. They boast and talk rubbish. Mm. Uh, and um, at the end of the day, you found out that these men are poor men. I mean, how can somebody tell you he'd been to London, America, Germany, Turkey, and also tell you about gold chain, gold wristwatches, gold necklace, but at the end, he cannot even afford to pay for two bottles of drink. Mmm. Mmm. What is mmm? Is mmm the only thing you can say when you are being talked to? Dora, you talk too much these days. I never knew you to be a part of the fire and went to prison. Elisha, you don't know what you are saying. How can you say that I talk too much these days more than before? Eh? And you insult me too. Insult? How did I insult you? See what I'm saying? You <clears throat> become so wayward that you don't even regard anything. So you don't know it is an insult to tell your husband that he does not know what he's saying. <coughs> I, Elisha, an intelligent officer of the Signals Division of the Nigerian <laughs> Army, <laughs> an infomog officer, does not know what he's saying. <laughs> Do you know what it takes to go to another man's country and maintain the peace? I will. <laughs> Elisha has come again. <laughs> Please, Elisha. Since when has you don't know what you are saying become an insult? Huh? Maybe is this your long time in prison that is affecting you? If I say good morning, you say it's an insult. If I say hello, you say it is not how a woman should talk to her husband. Mm? Tell me, how am I supposed to talk to you, Elisha? How? Soldier. Okay, 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 don't worry. 
Maybe if I want to greet you, Elisha. Hmm? Maybe if I want to greet you, I'll just do. Hmm. Sean, sir. Sean, Elisha. For if not Sibwe, eh? Ha! Madam, I, I, I cannot allow you to go and see Diego without informing his wife. I said I am looking for Igwe, not his wife. Uh, but that is the instruction given to me now. You, you cannot see Diego without his wife. Igwe told you this? No, madam. His wife. Okay. Um, you see, please just take this money and buy Gary for your children. Eh? What? Please, I need to see you. It's very, very important. You. Please. Ha! I can't do. I can't do. It's not even up to what the Igwe's wife gives me. Okay, where uh, is the Igwe's wife? Uh, she's in her quarters. She's in her quarters? Mm -hmm. She's not even in the palace with Igwe. I know. Hey, please take this money now. Take this money. I need to see Igwe. It's very, very important. Please. No. Take this money. It's not possible. Take this money. Okay. No, madam. Madam, stop. Madam. What's all this? My friend? What's all this? What has she done? Yigwe, she refused to follow the let down rules before coming to see you. Laid down rules. Laid down rules by who? Mm, Lolo told me never to allow Madame Dora into the palace whenever she is not in the country. And when she is in the country that I must inform her before I, I let her see you. Mm, I see. Return to the gate immediately. You will... Any problem? Yes. I have returned to Elisha's house. He came with his people and asked me to come home. And my father insisted I go back. So I decided to come and inform you in case if you hear of it so that you don't get angry with me. You know you wanted to marry me. Yes. I have also heard that your husband is threatening to kill me. I'm waiting. As for your return, of course, it's good. Now we can see one another every time. Eh? All the time. Igwe, I'm reopening my bath tomorrow morning. How can we see now that Elisha is back? Uh, no problem. Any day, any time we schedule to meet, right? You just uh, close your shop to your customers by 7 in the evening. Go into the bar lockup. I'll come by 8 and knock. By 9 p.m. you're safely back in your house. Just say that you had to stay back a little more to calculate the day's sales. That's all. Then any time we meet, then we'll be able to fix the next time we will see again. So that's what I remain. A male concubine. It's only for now. But Anigwe is allowed as many wives as possible. Dora, 
Your husband has returned. He owns you and he has not divorced you. And what, what if I make him to divorce me? I don't think I still love him. You will have grown so different. So wide apart. Now, how do you intend to make him divorce you? I'll misbehave. If he gets tired of me, then he can tell me to go. That's okay. No problem. You will try that and I'll be waiting. I'll be watching. Um, Igwe, will you give me money for our daughter's feeding, Chinenye? Dora, we shall see tomorrow evening. Have you seen it? Have you seen it, Igwe? Have you seen why I would do anything possible to make you marry me so that I'll be longer too? If I am your wife and I ask you to give me money for our child's feeding, do you need to think about it before you give me the money? Even we are dying, you know. And I should just return from prison and, and he's not doing anything for now. Yeah, yeah. You manage this for now. Oh, you could thank you. No, no, good day. See, listen. I am just trying to help you simply because of the largeness of my heart. Do you understand? Now, use that money very, very wisely. Buy food stuff for your family and feed your family very well. While we hope that, well, with time, that your husband is going to pick up something to do. Okay? My dear, what is it that you want again? Um, no. Haven't I heard that you sorted things out with your husband? Lolo, I only came to ask for help. We don't have food. For help, we don't have any food. Well, when you're not running your canteen, you sell things there, and you're here to ask for food. Um, Onyinye, Onyinye, leave the woman alone. Hmm? We shall talk. You may go. Thank you. What is it that you have with that woman? Nothing. Nothing. She needed help and I gave her help. She just needed help and you gave her help. Nothing. Opala. Opala. If you chop another person in. I get a rule of Google, my banato. Who will shop Neto Anaya. Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. I get so oh, the best, the best. Have this. Huh? So you don't come to disturb me again, okay? Hey, hey. I want my all the best. Mm -hmm. In fact, Lord, I am drinking this. But I won't come near this palace again until after three years. With this kind of drink, 501, Jonah can live longer than Methuselah. Hey! On the base. For this single act alone, you deserve a story. Jonah, Jonah, mm -hmm. storyteller. You know, I like telling stories. I know. Hey! Mm -mm. Lola, once upon a time, there was this man. You know, he went to the jail. He spent six years in the jail with hard labor. Lolo, hard labor. Every morning they flood me with koboko. Sometimes pure water. And one plantain, single plantain in the night. 
It was that bad, though. Mm. It was that bad. And why he was in jail long? Another man who claimed to be kind hearted was busy helping the family. Was busy taking care of this man's family, paying their bills, even servicing the woman. You know? I'm sorry to be vulgar, but the story has to be told the way it is. So when this man says, the man, pen, the woman will say, So, in the course of saying yeah, she had a baby girl for this other man. It's a long story. It's a long story. Now, don't. It's a long story. Um. Uh, no, no. Do you know Elijah? Elijah? Mm. The soldier? Ah, Mom. Mm. I know mm. him very well. A lot of the wife. You know the wife too? Yes. Dora. You know her by her name, sir. Mm. Um, he's my friend, the Igor Balan around. He's in the palace. No, he's not around. Oh, he's not around. Okay, then. Um, yes, sir. He comes back. Huh? Tell him I paid him a courtesy visit. Uh, that he should uh, reciprocate this kind gesture by coming to my house. You know? Um, Mom, it's getting late, and you know I'm becoming responsible. I'm not a responsible man. I don't go out in the night. Very, very responsible. Let me retire to my place of abode. But don't forget to pass the message across. Tell you where to kindly see me. You know? Don't forget, Lord, it's important, urgent and important. Dora, Dora. This is good. The power line is good, man. I hope you people are enjoying my Yes, Very much. See how you are adding weight around your waist and buttocks. It shows you you are eating a lot of stockfish. The stockfish make one waist bigger, eh? Well, it simply means that you are now an adult. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like you've forgotten that I'm a mother of two, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marcy, do you want more palm wine? Yes, of course. Yes, I want one more bottle and this adult touch. Hey! 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 Stop that nonsense! Stop that nonsense! Don't you know she's somebody's wife? If you have no more business to do here, drink and go home to your wife. Do you want more? No, thank you very much. How much is that? It's five for How can you let him talk to you like that? Huh? Eh? Because you're on the back. Then you become a public woman. When we get up, I will deal with you. have to close down that shop. It is not a decent business for a married woman. <laughs> close it down and do what else? Eat what? Eh? Elisha. Elisha. <laughs> Please, you are joking. Dora, I am not joking. Look at how those men play with you in the shop. A married woman. They are my customers for goodness sake. Should I drive them away because they play with me? You call that play? Eh? That's what you have to say? What I am saying is that you have to close down that shop. And I said I am not closing down any shop. If it will test you, then stop coming. After all, you're a man. Men work. Men take care of their families. They don't idle away. Woman, come my house. Eat 
Snatcher. I have come to warn you, and this for the very last time. Leave my husband alone, or else I will send you to your grave. Do you get me? Um, Lolo, I don't understand what you're talking you about. You don't understand. You will get to understand very soon. Now, I learned to have a child for my husband. I want you to get rid of that child, or else. I will help you and get rid of the little rat. Do you get me? No, no, but I still don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand what you are talking about. You don't understand. Stupid girl. Now, for the very last time you heard me well, get rid of that little child. If you think I know that person, Tim, danger, danger. There is a new person that has come into our midst today. The Lord ordered his full step into this place. Brother Elisha Mokike, please step forward and introduce yourself. My name is Elisha Wokike, a former Sergeant Major of the Nigerian Army. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> A lot of you here also know my story. 
I was dismissed and sentenced to life imprisonment because of my involvement in the military coup d'etat of six years ago. God, in his infinite mercy, kept me alive. A lot of my colleagues died while we were in prison. But by his grace, I'm alive today to tell the story. Amen. Amen. My Bible tells me in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 16, that when the day comes, the Lord will save his people, just like the shepherd will save his flock from danger. Brother Elijah, continue. I came home and I found change. Change in my wife, change in my family, change everywhere. You see, I have a man looking for peace of mind. All through the morning, I walk through the village roads, not knowing what to do or where to go. Then I heard clapping and singing coming from this house. And I said to myself, try this house. Maybe, just maybe, you will find peace. Praise the Lord. But Elisha, let me now tell you that you will certainly find peace in one man who shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary for you and me. Yes. That name is Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, All ye that are level and are heavy laden, come unto me and I will give you peace. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, Take up my yoke. For I am meek and gentle. Brother Elijah, by the time you live here, your life will not be the same again. Pray the Lord. Set down the Business today. How do you expect business to be fine? Eh? How do you expect business to be fine? My regular customers did not come. Thanks for your outburst yesterday. I almost sold nothing. By the way, have you decided on what to do? Eh? You can learn trade, you know. Maybe carpentry work or bricklaying or even trading in rice. I went to the church today. It was a good experience. The pastor prayed for me. Eh? What did you just say? Did I hear you say church? Eh? The <laughs> one you have suffered. Huh? My dear, mother does not fall from heaven. Stop deceiving yourself with all those lazy bones who call themselves born again Christians. All they do is to eat your factory money, sleep in the church, and that's all. Eh? <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, are you eating now? Hmm? So 
tell me, what would you have been eating if I had spent all my time and going to the church clapping hands? Eh? What would you be eating? You're not ashamed of yourself. All your mess are out there learning how to do coming to work, bricklaying, and you're sitting down here telling me about pastors. Eh? Are you the only retired soldier? Eh? I'm sorry for you. have a shop but if you mean canteen yes I'm going to the canteen see Dora I, I'm confused it's not easy for a full-fledged man like me a youth who was retired in his prime and a comic officer to be idle I really need to think do something go out there and do something like you rightly pointed out the answer does not lie in the church Thank God you are getting wise. Was I foolish before? I, I didn't say so. But when somebody is not wise, what is he? Is he not foolish? Thank you. Anyway, can I follow you to your canteen? You won't dare. Oh! You won't rob me of the few customers I have left so that I'll become jobless like you. Eh? No way! Won't try it in the hospital. You won't try it in Dora. And stay at home if you don't want to be provoked. Ah, all the time I'm provoking. Stay at home. Ah. Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I'm not there. He carry my sweetie, run away. If you take another person, then danger. Again. Since they carry my sweetie, run away. If you chop another person, Elisha, welcome to my palace. <laughs> Igwe, um, I have come to tell you something, and I believe if you take my advice, it shall be well for both of us. Yes, mm. Igwe. Well. What is it? Igwe, I know I lose my temper so easily. It's just part of my nature. <laughs> no, that's by the way. I am now a child of God and uh, old things have passed away. I am trying very hard to forgive all my offenders only if they will stop offending me. <laughs> I mean, so, <laughs> who, who could be offending Elisha now? Igwe, yes. you can see I'm holding a Bible. Can you see it? Uh, yes, 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 yes. That's a Bible you have in your hand. Next time I catch you with my wife, doing or not doing. I may not be carrying this Bible. It may be something else. Elisha, are you threatening me? No. I'm not threatening you. I'm asking you to leave my wife alone. Please, Igwe, in the name of all that is good, leave my wife alone. I did not borrow money from you to marry her. At least you tried in my absence to take care of her. Now that I'm back, 
let me take charge. I am saying this in peace today. Next time, it may be in pieces. Igwe, what the religion is Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I am not there. This boy is not going to do this. There is an injection in their head. If you take another person to enjoy. Oh, okay. Jonah, have you asked yourself why Christian Chuku is fighting Jejo Kosha and Jejo Kosha is fighting Christian Chuku? And who told you that they are fighting each other? I'm sorry, you have no TV set in your house. Ah, uh -huh. as you think. You don't get information. Mm -hmm. Chuku wants to play 10 for Super Eagles. He wants to become the new number 10. That's the bone of contention. Mm -hmm. Jonah, you don't know what you are saying. Who told you? How can a coach become a football again and start playing football? It happens, huh? Even in England. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Mr. Royce stays on the bench. Why Ferguson, the coach, leads the attack? So that is why Christian Chuku will come again and start playing with our culture. Ah, Roger Miller! Cameroon. Roger Miller played in the World Cup when he was 62 years. Life begins at 40. You don't know what you are saying. Hey, madam, get me one so, more bottle. Yes. So, get me one more cup. Nonsense. You see? Because you sit here day in, day out, drinking pan wine. You are jobless. Yeah, your mates are busy in the Lagos. Doing magic, making money. You are here, don't for money. And why are you not? Ha! Ah! Dora! The Doralistic. Hey! Dora! This your back seat can even put a reverend into temptation. If God could beautify fellow human beings like this, then the angels will be mommy water. They don't realize it. Leave Dara. Let us talk what we are talking. Football. But what? What am I discussing? You're a moron. You're a moron. Do you know anything about football? You don't you know mean? how to play football and you don't know how to watch football. Uh -huh. Shame on you. As you think. You watch with my eyes. Nonsense. You're a moron. Huh? Discussing with you is like discussing with a dead man. You are deaf and dumb. You don't know anything. And you are blind. You don't know how to play football. You don't know how to watch football. Shame on you. You are the one that knows. You are watching, I, I, I am watching with your eyes. You think, you think, you are blind, no? Do you watch? I'll see you, let me go and discuss football with some intellectual... Which means you are going? No, I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm not going. I'm staying. Okay, now. Bye-bye. Jenna. Why? Give me my money. Which one? For what? For the drinks, now. Which drink? This, this drink? It's our drink now. Nah. How can I pay you? Whose drink? Oh, you mean when you eat in your house, you pay yourself? I'm a shareholder in this bar. This bar was built with our community funds by our Igwe. And it was built when your husband was serving six year jail term. I don't care. You can say anything you like, but you must give me that money today. Must... What is wrong with you? Mind you your hands. You dead for years today. Mind you your hands. You now you are owing me again today. Mind you me that your money. hand. That place is dangerous. <laughs> this thing vibrates at the slightest provocation. Give me that money, Jonah. Give it to me. I'm give me so... that money. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't want to do this thing you want to do now. Jonah, if he welcomes, he is the rightful person for that. <laughs> Why did you drink with that thing? Okay, we are here for catechism. Good. Give me my money, Jonah. Mm -hmm. Pay me that money, Jonah. I drank. Mm -hmm. And I refused to pay because the bar belongs to us. Belongs to who? I'm a shareholder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the owners yeah. of the bar. It's our bar. Allow him to go. Leave him. Do you know how much he's owing me? Pay me that money. Because I said to beggar. Why are you begging her? Let him go. 
Let's Did I ask you to beg her? Who shut up your mouth? Who? Who shut up? Me. Me. He's owing me and he must give me that money. Me. Madam, shut up. Have, shut up your mouth. I have seen what will I do? In the past. I don't want to Madam, 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 madam. Wait for you. Be very I will do it. For what? I will do it. I won't do it on his behalf. But do you know how much he's owing me? You will do what? Don't worry. You will do what? I will pay for him. You? They're not doing anything. Come on, get away from here, you blessed man. I'm here. Leave my shop. Dora, go. Oh, I have seen that. Ah, oh. You are useful. Useless man. Let me get you here again. I will turn out teaching. I again. have seen your usefulness. The only place you are useful is your waist. And your waist has given you. Oh, you are still there. Eh? John, I don't let me get you there again. Let me just. I have no. I have nothing to discuss with you. But for your information, mind how you do that thing with our Igwe. You know he has cardiac arrest. Mind how you do the thing with your Igwe to avoid the beast trap. I know why I'm saying this. Because if anything happens, we will hold you responsible. Onu Kunu. Onu Kunu. Keep on terrorizing this town with you. Keep on wounding them. Woman, come my house. He enter my room when I'm not there. Sweetie, run away If you take another person in danger Which kind can be this? I the vex, life no sweet again Since they carry my sweetie, run away If you chop another person in danger about giving me palm wine and meat every time I come in here. Hmm? See, soon I'm going to eat very deep into your profit huh? and even your capital. And that's not going to be very fine. Igwe, Igwe, that's my little way of showing gratitude for opening this business for me. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, um, I see, Elisha. Idol as usual. I've done everything to get on his nerves, but he never gets angry. Perfect. He has even started going to church. <laughs> Must be frustrated. Hmm? Are we going to sit down here and talk about Elisha? Hmm? The night is past and yeah. we're in and I don't want to go to <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Did you come in your car? Ah, you know I never do that. Even if I want it. I'll 
Take it down. Dora. Is everything okay? I killed her. I killed the adulteress. What are you talking about? Huh? Please. I mean, is everything okay? Please bring me a Bible. They're coming. No. I am not worthy to come into your house. I am a man stained with blood. Please bring your Bible. The Bible commands that an adulteress be stoned. I didn't have a stone, so I killed her with my bare hands. I strangled her. Dora is dead, and so is the Igwe. You mean you killed some people? Yes, Pastor. Pastor, pray for me. Pray for me. The police will come in the morning to take me and hang me. I want you to pray for me so I can make heaven. Come in and tell me everything. There is nothing to tell. 
If I am seen in your house, you'll be arrested as an accomplice. Just lay your hands on my forehead and I will depart in peace. Never mind. Brother Elisha! Brother Elisha, I want to know what is going on! Never mind! I have changed my mind! I will never surrender and die like a cockerel! I will fight them! I will fight them! See you, ready to come. Where is guys? Come on, come on, stop! Stop, my friend! Where are you people camping? Are you not hearing us? Where are you camping? Come on, stop! You don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Stop. You don't want to talk. It's a camp. What are you guys waiting for? Festival of Bullets. One policeman. Two policemen. Two policemen. Four policemen. Five policemen. Six policemen. Seven policemen. Eight policemen. Nine policemen. Ten policemen. I will escape or die. God is king. By tomorrow morning, you will know I'm a very dangerous man. I'm ready to do anything. Anything. Osinachi, you may not understand because of your age. But when you grow up, you will understand why I did what I did this black night. An uncle will take you to your maternal home where you will stay.
pay for all this. Of course, the police is already hot on his tracks. And I'm assuring you. One million Elisha will not bring out my husband Igwe. One million being arrested Elisha will not bring my husband. Will not bring my husband. Will not bring my husband. <laughs> I want him. I told him I begged him. I told him everything. Now nobody to help me out. Now nobody to help me. Told him everything. So do I do? My in law. That's what we had as rumor last night. And we will walk out this morning. Wishing that it were a dream. It turned out to be a reality. Elisha, in fit of rage, killed Igwe Opala and Dora. When he caught them practicing illicit love in Dora's bar. Child! Dora is no more. Elisha disappeared from the place. Who flooded our community? Looking for him. Hey. How can I raise my voice in the gathering of my kinsmen again? Hey! My mind will take life as you see it. 
is the children are very bad for. Well, let me go and see things the way they are. I will report back to you, my boy. Pastor. Good day. Can I help you? What do you think? This man does not sound convincing. I just don't believe him. We are hunting for an ex-soldier, ex-convict named Elijah Mwokike. We were reliably informed that he was very close to yourself and your church. You know his about? Well, that's a very wrong information. I met Brother Elijah just a few days ago, and he has only been to my church once. Pastor, do you know his whereabouts? No, I don't. Have you been in touch with him lately? I want to know if you have offered him any form of assistance, spiritual or otherwise, in the last few days. Officer, I am a pastor. And whatever spiritual assistance I offer to any of my brethren, I mean, it's not a police issue. Are you aware that the man we are talking about is responsible for the death of two people in this village? And there is urgent need for us to get him apprehended immediately. You see, officer, you represent the law. And I presume that whatever you say about the law is true. So should I leave here with the understanding that if you happen to set your eyes on him, that you will not hesitate to get in touch with the police immediately? I presume so. Go to that place and keep solid surveillance around that environment. The pastor was lying. He knows more than the suspect than he told us. In this village, that pastor remains the most trusted friend the suspect has. And if there is anybody that will help him in giving him food, clothing, and anything he will require to escape, the yes, pastor remains the person I want to believe that will do that. Now you go to that place and you ensure that you keep surveillance of that place so that if you spot anything, you report back to the office. Did I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Remember, the suspect is armed. And if it requires, you are allowed to use maximum force. We know what to do, sir. Yes. You may leave now. Can I get some food to eat? 
and some money to help me run away from this village. You don't have a dime to feed or escape. May God have mercy on you. Why did you do it? Thou shalt not kill, so says the Lord. The Lord did not catch his wife with another man. Maybe if he did, he would have done more than kill. Lord Elisha, don't blaspheme. The Lord has no wife. May he forgive me then. Please, can you help? Food, money, water. Please. Well, I'll try. Sit down here. I'm coming. Thank you. Follow him. What could he be carrying in that black lilac? I don't know. I suspect him. I say we follow him. Ah, Corporal Roy. Order is order. Our order is to stay here. I suspect him strongly. I think I should follow him. Let me answer to Oga for breaking orders. But Please. for me, I have to follow him. Please, yes, sir. Let me follow him. You did is evil, but your wife was a bad woman. And in any human nature, I don't even know whether to blame you or not. Officer down, come immediately. Copper Roy is down. Suspect hiding in village church. Over. The suspect coming immediately. Over and out.
Dios, 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 Anyone who comes through this door of this window is dead. Sentir 